Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, and I want to tell you why I think Vivek Ramaswamy should pose to the American people the question, is Hassan Minaj a liar, and why he should answer it? All right, okay, let's jump in. So first of all, I have this premise. I have this premise that the best way to change America today is for Vivek Ramaswamy to win the 2024 presidential election by promising to do this, and I think it would it would lead to his winning, and then do it, right, which is to create the Department of Hollywood. The Department of Hollywood would be a way for the Republican Party to massively regulate uh, every product Hollywood makes on the big and small screen and fundamentally reshape American political speech and American political action. Because what we now know in 2023, um, thanks to Jada Pinkett Smith, is that Hollywood has been engaged for decades, and she she just said the quiet part loud, man, like so loud, right? That they have been engaged in massive political speech, and they have been fundamentally reshaping the entire shape of the American family, right? Like the way Jada Pinkett Smith did it was specifically. Uh, Americans are like, hey, you and me are going to get married, and then we're going to be monogamous. And she's like, that's bunk. Get married. Uh, forget your vows and go polyamory. And that's the right way to do it. And she lied for seven years, flat out, to, uh, in everybody in America's face over the red table. And I am I'm convinced, in my humble opinion, devastated. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 marriages. Right? Just put them in the, you know, put them in the virtual dirt. Right? Like, it's, you know. And so... And so I think, you know, so where we land is that Hollywood is 100% engaged in political speech in virtually every single project they have, right? And and so we need oversight. The Republican Party needs oversight over that. So the Department of Hollywood needs to come in. Hassan Minaj is Hollywood. He was just in uh, No Hard Feelings with uh, Jennifer Lawrence. It was a return film with Jennifer Lawrence. Millions of people watched it in the theaters. And many millions more watched it on Netflix, and it and it is extremely engaged, extremely specific political speech about how our culture should be structuring relationships. Okay, extremely specific political speech aimed toward political action. Right. So Hassan Minaj, let's, let me define who he is. He's first of all, I'm a huge fan of Hassan Minaj. I've watched. I watched his show Netflix on. Uh, I watched his Netflix show, Patriot Act, for a couple of years, and I think he's brilliant. And I really felt, and you can find videos right here on this channel about him, right? Um, and and how he really was revolutionizing um, modern journalism, right? Uh, specifically by getting into visual data, uh, data visualization, and how it was really transformative. Pretty pretty amazing content, actually. Uh, so basically, you have this situation, right? And here's the issue. So the New Yorker, uh, about a month ago, I think, uh, came out and they were like, hey, Hassan Minaj is a liar. Like, they just said it kind of really flat, very you know, specifically. And they're like, Hassan Minaj is a, is a brutal liar and nobody should believe him, right? And you're like, mm, what's happening here? Like, you know, like, it was kind of an interesting story. And they're like, he did, in, then they put up the, yeah, they put up the, the information. Uh, I'm hesitant to say that facts are going to come out of the New Yorker or like, you know, or any mainstream media, right? Like CNN facts. What's their relation? What's CNN's relationship to facts or fact checking or like, it's, it's, it's lud- like, it's so ludicrous. You have these organizations that are just ridiculously leveraged, right? You know, agendas out the wazoo and they're like, let's talk about facts, Okay, <laughs> like you, it's just, it's outrageous. I, in my opinion, it is ludicrously outrageous, right? So, um, so basically, you get you arrive at this point, right, where you're, um, you know, where you're 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 going down this road. And what the New Yorker said is that uh, they said, "Hey, we fact checked Hassan Minaj's uh, brick wall and a microphone comedy speeches." And we found three lies. A lie about the prom, a lie about an undercover agent, and a lie about powder being mailed to his home. Right? Three lies. Right? And so now Hassan Minaj, who has a major Hollywood career going on, 
right? He don't do, you know, actually he does do brick wall and microphone still uh, because you can get $60 million for brick wall and a microphone, which is pretty intense, right? Like um, that's pretty huge, right? That you could actually get $60 million for brick wall and a microphone action, right? That That is astounding, right? And so you have this situation going on and yeah, so let's land all the way there, right? So he's doing brick wall on a microphone and the New Yorker's like, hey, we're going to fact check you. And they find that he's, that, and they purport, reported that he did three lies. He then did a video linked below, very good video, that went point by point. And now we know, is Hassan Minaj a liar? The answer is yes, he's 100% a liar, right? I think he did not lie about the prom. He did lie about the undercover agent. And he di- he absolutely lied about the powder coming to his home. And he absolutely lied about the undercover agent. And that's coming from his words, right? If you listen to his video, breaking down these three lies he was accused of, he's like, the prom one, no, I really didn't lie. The other one's 100%. And he even apologizes for both of them, right? Individually, right? Like, And so he's a liar, right? Now, what kind of liar, right? Because that matters. You and I are both standard liars, right? I lie. You lie, and when we do, we go, ooh, man, we, we, a knock gets in our stomach, and we're like, oh, ooh, I lied to that person, and it, and either, and maybe we get away with it, but there's a knot in our stomach, and we feel bad, and we, we grow an ulcer, right, like, that's a standard liar, everybody lies, okay, there's, everybody is a standard liar, but here's the kicker, a significant liar, Hassan Minaj was doing stand-up comedy saying, I've been oppressed, and I have suffering, based on the color of my skin and the prejudice against me is deep but he lied right like and you're like uh that's something you really should not be lying about if you know if you're going to make that kind of accusation it's got to be rock solid right like because the reality is accusing anyone of that is horrendous and when people lie about it it actually gives grift to trump followers who are like oh it's all lies you know all this prejudice is just lies and then Hassan Minaj comes out and goes, yep, it was a lie. I lied. I said that I had suffered based on, you know, the color of my skin, but I totally lied, right? Like, and that's it. Like, is, if you were listen to his video, that's what he's saying, right? And you cannot lie about that. You cannot, right? It's just, it, it, it's not allowed, right? Like, because it validates what the Trump people are saying, right? Like, 100% validates it, right? And their stuff cannot get validated, right? Like, you like... It gets ugly, right? Like, because then you're like, wait, were they right about the election? Like, that's my point, right? Like, you know, you cannot, like, if they're saying, oh, all this reports are probably just a bunch of lies, and then Hassan Mazaz is like, yep, it was a bunch of lies, right? Like, it, he is 100% validating what they're saying, right? It's, it's bad. It's very, very bad. So, Hassan Minaj is a significant liar. You and I are standard liars, right? We say a liar once every three months, and we get a knot in our stomach about it, and we feel bad. He was routinely using lies to spread something that was completely untrue that gave him a very specific political advantage, uh, that gave him a very specific profitable advantage, and he was crafting political speech to create political action, right? Like, you know, that's, that's a significant liar. And he went to stadiums and told these lies, and then he sold that stadium hour to Netflix, where the lie would be multiplied by millions, right? He's a significant liar, right? Let's talk about a systemic liar, okay? That's Donald Trump. That's President Donald Trump. He lies so much that it's very clear he has no idea when he's telling the truth or when he's lying, right? Where somebody who never gets a knot in their stomach about a lie they told because they don't even know what their world... What, what, which one of their words are lies and which one of them who have completely severed any relationship to honesty, right? And these people are outrageously dangerous because they, they co- they're they coming at the social contract. And there's going to be a point where, like, no words that come out of anybody's mouth can be expected to be true. Because when you, when you put a systemic liar as the U.S. president, what is, you know, that's who moms are like, oh, you should be like the president, you know, like George Washington, Never told a lie. Chop down a cherry tree. You know, like, uh, returned a penny for, you know, for a person who gave him too much change. You know, blah, 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 blah. Right? Like, this is a thing. Like, people are like, that's our leader. That's our example. Right? And that is under horrific attack. Right? 
And so I think it's very important if Vivek Ramaswamy steps out and says, Hasan Minhaj is a liar, and this type of speech has to be condemned, right? And I think right now, Hasan Minhaj, I love Hasan Minhaj. I think he's a, an incredible talent, and I want him to be able to continue his career next year. Like, uh, Actually, maybe even 2026. I want him to come back in 2026. I want a year of him off the grid. I think he needs to pay a horrendous price for what he did because it was a horrendous, horrendous cultural act, right? And so I think he needs to go away, and then he needs to come back, right? Uh, that's my take, and I think Vivek should say that. He should say, hey, from now on, you tell horrendous lies about something that's outrageously important that we really need to tell the truth about, you need to go away for a year, and you lose an entire year of your career. So Hassan... I know your hair looks great now, right now and your skin's good right now, but you're going to lose a year. And yes, that is brutal in Hollywood and maybe you don't come back. But the reality is you lied to the entire nation about prejudice and you validated the disgusting, horrible statements of, Trump, of Donald Trump's people that all prejudice claims are false. You gave them fuel. You proved that what they're saying is somewhat right. right? And we cannot do that. No one can lie about suffering based on prejudice. It is unforgivable for one year. And then we'll forgive you. <laughs> like, you know, but you need you needs to be gone from Hollywood for about a year. That and I think Vivek really needs to see that say that very, very clearly. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and tell me what you think Vivek should do. I'd love to hear that. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.